Hey guys, Jason Lino here. So with it being the new year, I wanted to take the time to talk to you a little bit about body transformations. And the reason why I wanted to talk to you about that is because with it being the new year, you always will see those New Year's resolutioners at the gym. You know, the ones that want to hit that amazing body transformation or lose those last five pounds. Uh, but the sad thing is about all that is they, most of them don't actually get the results they want. Uh, whether they think the workouts are too hard or they don't have the time or they just try to do some shortcut ab routine and it just doesn't work out for them. So with me putting the time in that I have and getting the results that I like accomplished, uh, I just wanted to share in hopes that it could help put people on the right path when it comes to consistency. So get your popcorn ready because this is going to be a doozy. Uh, it all starts when I was a little kid, as most people. Uh, naturally, I'm a tiny guy, have a fast metabolism, so growing up, I was never able to put on weight. When I got to high school, I might have been 100 pounds soaking wet. Uh, I could eat, 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 and it would just all go down the toilet. I wasn't a physically active kid. I pretty much just played video games, Pokemon cards, the works. Uh, but as I got older, naturally, I started to realize I like girls. So that's kind of what got me started on everything. I started to want to put on a little bit of muscle to impress the ladies. Uh, but I didn't do what most guys did. I didn't do the curls or the benching. I did ab work, and I mean a lot of ab work. You could have basically made a Rocky montage with all the ab work I did. Uh, because, you know, every girl likes sweet abs, right? Um, in fact, it didn't really work out that way because as we all know, once we grow up, it's not really about the abs. Uh, but because of that effort I put in, I did end up getting pretty sweet abs, not gonna lie, but that's a whole different story. But that's what I started off. And then when I came to the sad realization that that's not gonna get me a girlfriend, I kind of stopped. And I kind of went down the little, you know, rabbit hole once again of just not doing anything and eating and playing video games until I started to get older, uh, about 19, 20 years old, when all my friends were graduating high school and moving off to college. And, you know, I was seeing them basically make something of their lives. And I was looking at myself, seeing this, 19 year old 138 pound kid which was depressing because let's be honest there's a lot of great nines who weigh more than I did when I was 19 so uh, with all this newfound free time that I had with all my friends leaving I decided to try to make a bit of a change and try to actually put a decent amount on a decent amount of size on sorry uh, so I could feel better about myself so I went out and bought the Walmart special weights like every person pretty much does when they start out. And uh, you know the weights, the ones with the concrete filled centers, love them. Uh, and I started to dabble at home. You know, it was fun. And I, you know, I learned some things the hard way, not gonna lie. Um, but once I realized that I didn't know what I was actually doing, I decided to do some research. And naturally, I went online to try to learn as much as I could. Didn't know a lot about YouTube then, so I mostly stuck to Google. I went over every site I could until I stumbled across bodybuilding.com. Now, when I first saw it, I naturally thought it was a steroid site uh, until I actually clicked on it and realized it's way more than that. And there's really nothing to do about steroids. It's actually a fitness community with uh, like sweet nutrition guides, sweet articles, free trainers, and decent, you know, supplement lines, right? It was fantastic. I immediately fell in love with it and started messing out around with on there. You know, oh, try out this workout article, try out that workout article, things like that. And then I started to do a little bit when it came to the free trainers, but nothing too serious. And then, you know, I wanted to get more serious as time went on. Uh, so I decided to scrap the home gym or home gym and go to my works gym, which is a hotel gym. Uh, so it didn't have really a lot. It had 45 pound dumbbells and a little, you know, decent cable machine. So I started working out from there. And then I started putting a bit more time into my actual training. Try to have a little bit more consistency when it came to like my, my chest and tries, my back and buys and calves and things of that nature. And I actually started to see a little bit of progress. Nothing crazy, like I wasn't putting on a lot of weight, but I was starting to see a little bit of definition, but I was maxing out the weights that were at the gym. So with that happening, I decided to finally stop being a cheap ass and spend the money and go to an actual gym. So that's when I signed up for Mountain Fitness, uh, the gym I currently go to, and I started working out there. 
Uh, but since I was actually working out in a gym with other people, I had to do an actual program. Like I didn't want to embarrass myself, did I? So right away, I went through the list of the free trainers on bodybuilding.com and found a trainer that I thought would be awesome for me. And it ended up being Jim Stepani Shortcut the Size. It was a 12 week trainer and it did fantastic results. Uh, I ended up putting on 10 pounds in 12 weeks and it was great. And this is just following the, the workout guide. Like I was not by any means following the nutrition guide because I was still learning and quite frankly, I didn't really care about what I ate because I never really had to with being you know, a fast metabolism person, right? So, but right away, since I saw the results, I was in love with the gym right off the bat. And well, so while being in that newfound love and messing around, I slowly kept teaching myself more and more and more. And then I started looking into other styles of training. And that's when I came across strength training and I fell in love with it. Strength training was fantastic. Being able to lift as heavy as you can and call it a workout is amazing. However, with that training being in mind, I wasn't really necessarily strength training. I was literally maxing out all the weights that I could and saying I was a power lifter. It was kind of pathetic and sad really, uh, but I did have fun with it and it did give me the love that I currently have for the sport. So it can't really be all that bad, right? Uh, but once I started doing that, I started looking into more power lifting style training and power lifting style nutrition. And if you've ever looked at any of the bad articles about powerlifting style nutrition, it's usually eat and eat as much as you can. Like you see food, you eat food. So that's what I did. And then I tried to do, you know, your five by five kind of trainers or your Ed Cone peak training systems to try to build as much power as I could. And in fact, it actually did really good results on my deadlift. Uh, but when it came to my bench and squat, it's kind of embarrassing to say, I didn't really know how to properly bench the squat. Uh, I was doing like quarter squats and saying I was a badass and I was benching to the point where I was putting so much weight on the bar that once I touched my chest, I literally had to throw my hips in the air and drive the weight up with my legs like that uh, instead of actually really pressing it. So that's, yeah, that's that was used to be me. Uh, but as time went on, even having that bad routine that I call amazing, I still put on a decent amount of size and a decent amount of strength. Like my chest swelled up, my arms swelled up. I felt great. And in fact, I ended up putting on even more weight. I was up to 168 pounds. So if you look at this time from me starting at my gym and the end result that I'm currently talking about, that is 20 pounds of weight. But the sad thing with that 20 pounds of weight is it wasn't all good weight. Uh, I had some, definitely some extra weight around the stomach and the abdominals and I didn't really enjoy that, but the strength made up for it. That's the, that was at least my explanation. And I, you know, so I kept doing stuff like that until I started feeling a little kind of sick, essentially. I was having gastro problems, I was having digestion issues and it just was not great. Like, you know, my favorite post-workout at the time was a liter of chocolate milk and a little Caesars hot and ready pizza. You know, it's just, it's it's not good to do that. At least, you know, it's just, it's not good calories and it was just not a good decision. So right away with me feeling bad, I knew that I had to change my diet. Like it's been long enough. I've been lying myself long enough I knew that I needed to actually focus on my nutrition because I was able to put on bad weight. So I decided to do a cleanse. Now naturally, I originally wanted to do uh, something a little bit easier, like a vegetarian cleanse. Uh, but after talking to some friends and end up having a pretty decent conversation with my friend Mandy, who's vegan, she ended up more or less convincing me to give it a try. At first, I kind of laughed it off thinking it was a joke because there was no such thing as a strong vegan in my opinion. And then I actually took the time to look into it and found that there's a lot of strong athletes out there who are vegan. Like every single sport has an athlete that is vegan. So I'm like, you want to, fuck it, I'll give it a shot. I've always been curious about anything like fitness related, nutrition, health, exercise. 
let's give it a shot. So I did. And naturally, being the stupid person I am, I went cold turkey and felt sick right away. It was like the worst hangover of my life. I was essentially getting meat sweats. It was bad. Um, but when, when that finally stopped happening, I started noticing a lot of improvement. I was more focused, I was having more energy, and I wasn't eating the same, and I wasn't bloated, and it was, it was fantastic. I loved it, I loved the feeling of it. It was like a whole new me. But with that happening, there's always a bit of a bad. And that bad was I started losing weight. It wasn't necessarily bad weight, but with weight loss comes strength loss. And that wasn't something I really liked. But I'm pretty stubborn and I was determined to make it work, at least for the month. So I just kept at it. And then, so as the weeks went on, I kept losing weight and I went essentially back down to like 150. And my strength wasn't crazy low, but I still was about 30 pounds weaker than I was. Uh, but I still had a lot of time to make up for it. So I did. I was determined to do it. So I did it. I started focusing more on my form more on actually doing proper movements, getting proper contractions in my muscles. And by the end of that month, I was right back up to where I was you know, three weeks ago. So right away I knew that veganism was not the worst diet at all, but I did wanna go back. And once I finished the cleanse, I tried to go back. And I just wanted to go slow because as I said before, I went cold turkey before and it really messed with me. So I was gonna essentially slowly work my way back up so I could go back to being a meal healthier Jason. And all it took was a little bit of cream in my coffee and right away I knew that wasn't happening because I took you know, a sip of that coffee and my gut was doing backflips. Uh, it was just not, not working out. I did not like it and Naturally, since I had such a hard time getting off to me, I didn't want to have that hard time getting back on it. So I kind of decided to stick it out and not go back. And in fact, I, I don't really have any regrets. I'm able to stay leaner. I have a lot of energy. I'm able to do a lot more in my day and still feel alive. And I really have no regrets when it comes to that because I'm still able to move the weight that I need to move to be a power lifter and I'm still able to look the way I want to look because right now I'm sitting at a simple 153, but I've not looked any better. I look a hell of a lot bigger than I was when I was 168, and I look a hell of a lot more confident than the guy I was when I was 135. And pretty much guys, all it took for me was dedication and determination. I just kept at it no matter what with me fluctuating in weight, fluctuating in strength, and that's all it took was determination and dedication. So that's exactly what you guys need to do as well. You know, it's all gonna be progressively different for everybody. You know, that little transformation I just described to you wasn't consistent. Realistically, I've only been training for about probably three years consistently, but it was still able to happen. So don't give up, guys. All right, so that's my story. Hopefully it helps. Hopefully it proves that it is possible to either transform yourself or to lose that last five pounds. So do me the favor, go down below, and draw me some comments. I'd love to hear what you have to say. I'd love to hear if you have any big changes for 2016. Also hit the like, share, and subscribe to spread that love, and I will see you guys next time.